Good morning, good morning, good morning and greetings to each and every one of you. Welcome to Barbados on this overcast and somewhat rainy morning. We're going to have some fun this morning. We're going to do something we haven't done since January. Um, some of you who are coming on for the first time or some of you that are fairly new to this channel will not have seen this before. So hopefully you will enjoy it. Something a little different. We did it, styled it because of the rainier conditions that we had before, but it's cleared up fairly nicely. There's some rain distance, but it's looking beautiful this morning. Good morning to all of you all. Happy, happy Monday. Get ready. Your countdown to the weekend is starting officially right now. Good morning to each and every one of you all again. We're looking over at the furthest, uh, what's the southwestern point of Barbados. That's by the Hilton Hotel. If you're not familiar where we are, I'm sure most of you do know where we are. What we can do this morning is we can actually do a walkthrough of what the cruise passenger would experience when they come to Barbados if they want to walk to the beach. So any of you that are coming here on cruise ships, you can follow this here this morning and you can see what we're going to be doing uh, basically and obviously vary it up however you want it. But just want to show you the general path that's used to cruise passengers when they come here. And I want to do some walking while they're on the island. So good morning to each and every one of you. Let us have a look here now at this section and we can say our serenity prayer and then we'll start off our vlog. So all those who'd like to join us in this prayer for peace and guidance and direction, um, please do so. All others will be back with you in a few moments time. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. Beautiful, beautiful morning. For those surfers of you that have surfed there before, I've only surfed there once, I think twice actually, um, off of a north swell and also off a of south swell. This is a really good break here, but it's very, very hollow. Big boulders all over the place that have been dropped. These, like these uh, armored rocks are here. You'll find a lot of them in the water, a lot of reef formations as well, shallow points, but, and very difficult to get to. It was a lot easier in the earlier times when they didn't have all these armed rocks and um, difficulty getting out to the actual break itself. But if you are interested, and there's a big north swell come and have a peep at this even if you don't surf it come and check the barrels and do some mine surfing because it's absolutely beautiful down here beautiful morning um it's easy for me to talk about here although i haven't been here for like three years um since yeah early 2020 very early in 2020 um i can talk about it quite comfortably i spent 23 years of my life working out of this location um different office facilities in different areas but i do know the bridge Sunport extremely well i would think um, it has changed a lot in the last year, so restrictions are different now, etc. Just to walk you through what's going on here. As you know, it's our independence time. They're going to have lights and stuff, and these trees are going to be absolutely mind blowing closer to independence if they're not there already. I don't actually see them up, but they may be. Um, it's going to be just turn into a beautiful um, dis display of all the colors of Barbados, the national colors. Security here, tight, of course, as you can appreciate. This is a point of entry into Barbados and point of exit. Um, just that you grant the others in the National Airport, they have a very, very strict security policy in place. Um, you will see three different three different openings here. First one being for the taxis that operate, ZR, sorry, ZM taxis that operate within the port. This is their gate. They will be let in um, at the time when guests start, just before guests start to come out. They sort of keep everyone on the outside. Then they line them up. There's three different agencies. If there's still those three different agencies that are operating here, um, they will allocate which vehicles and which numbers will go in first. The second one there, as you see, is the public entrance in. You have to have all your documentation and everything in place for that. You just can't come here and say you want to see the inside of Bridge Tongue Harbor. You have to have all of your documentation with you. So just call the Barbados Port Authority, find out what's necessary, make the application if you want to come along and see what it looks like for a business venture or something. Um, you know, they're very accommodating, but just give them a call and see what they can offer you. As I said, security has changed, so I'm not too sure what the policies are in place. We then have the industrial park or what we like to call the business park. Uh, Harbor Business Center. This is where you'll find like Oran. Um, you'll find all different types of um, businesses that operate from within a section. Originally, this was the area that used to get a lot of offshore 
companies and stuff located. That's what this industrial park was located, um, originally designed for. Had a lot of online representation here. However, over the years, that's changed. Um, I know the company I work for is in the first block of buildings, directly in the center of the camera. Now it was Foster and School Services. Um, that's where I would have to say was one of the family at that time. Still only family, but distant relative. We're going to work our way in this direction this morning. They have the mind shift in. They're going to be doing a lot of activities down here. They're going to be carrying um, guest luggage from down here in containers to the airport under secured custom containers. Um, they will then have the guests being moved later on this afternoon. So Barbados' roads will be a little uh, busy around 2.30 and onward this afternoon if you're in the general area going towards the airport. Um, if you are leaving the island today, we'll expect that you will have some lines. There is a dedicated cruise pasture line. Shouldn't impact you too much, but I guess that's left to be seen anyhow. Beautiful, beautiful. When I first started work here, many of you will remember a long time ago, this was just a marl section here. They didn't have this thick, thick armor rock section. However, we had a couple of hurricanes that came through and did a lot of damage. Um, although the hurricanes didn't hit us, the sea conditions created a lot of problems for us here in this general area. So these armor rocks are being dropped. Um, right from the fishing harbor, which you're showing in a few minutes time, right down along the harbor wall to protect the harbor area here. Um, I have seen down here, we see coming over into the car park and up to the terminal, actual arrival terminal. So that will give you an indication how rough it gets. I actually have some pictures uh, online in the not so good Barbados that will show you some devastation to Millie's Bar and stuff here for one of the hurricanes that passed. You can find that on Facebook. That's a not so beautiful Barbados I think that is in. Down here is lovely. This is very, very quiet right now because most of the, um, the guests are on the ship will be doing uh, air sea transfer. Not all of them, but most of them. I think they turn about half the vessel or something like that there approximately. Um, I think it's like four charter aircrafts or something like that. This ship is a much bigger ship than that. It's mine shift to. Um, that is the biggest one there. Three, I believe it is two. So hopefully I'm right, Malcolm. You will always let me know that. But generally, um, in the Daisy Car Park here, it was no, no organization at all. You came out, ran right into sort of like a... I don't want to use the right uh, the term, not in a bad way, a meat market, because when you came out of here, everyone obviously wanted business. No, it is uh, sort of like the same way. Any port that you go into, anywhere in the world, when you come outdoors and you come into the actual general environment, you're going to have a lot of people that are going to be trying to conduct business, obviously, because you know, you're like a magnet for a lot of folks here. However, these are the organized taxis that are lined up here. There will be vans, tour buses, etc. going along here. As I said, it's a little quieter today because all these guys would know that this ship does mainly an air sea operation. So, which means a lot of the guests will not be coming off um, early this morning. If any guests coming off, they'll be in later on. Um, they'll come off later, but most of the guests will be getting ready to go to the airport. So, you won't find a lot of taxis down here playing at this time of morning when there's an air sea ship that's in. I just met one of my, one of my uh, comrades and one of our family, Nicola. Good. Nicola, I don't care if you don't like that name. I've given you that name and that will stick forever. That's another name that I butcher quite often. So good morning to you, Nicola. Good to see you this morning. Fantastic to walk through a little bit of bridge tongue with you. Although you're not uh, Olympically trained, you kept a good pace, but I had to leave you, unfortunately. But you got here eventually. So I like, kind of rode like an hour after me and we'd only walk like 400 yards, but I'll tell you the speed that I have. Now, monkey see, monkey do. Don't, uh, don't take on what you saw earlier on. You're not supposed to be walking on these rocks. Um, they don't allow you on these rocks to walk or fish. Security obviously gave me a break. I didn't go and talk to them, but I know they would know me. So they probably gave me a break, not a problem. Let me set up this morning undisrupted. So that's nice to be able to do that for you. This is the actual BADC um, main building here. This is where um, we'd sort of like control the entire um, industrial area or what we like to call the business center. Industrial sounds so industrial. So we call it the business center, which is a lot nicer. A lot, as you can see, there's a large container coming in here. The company used to work for, for Sense Screw Services, they're responsible for moving guests between the seaport and the airport. I don't know what percentage of the business they control now, but they used to control about 98% of the air sea business here. I would say I would, uh, maybe 85 to 90% of the actual shore excursions used to be conducted in this area as well. Shore excursions are for the guests who are staying on the ship, they want to do some island tours, etc. Beautiful conditions, you can see in the distance there, the glare with the rain that's coming down. We're going to be probably in for some showers this morning. That's not a problem. I have on my four by fours and I have on a shirt because I'm going through Bridgetown. People are saying, well, what's he doing with a shirt on? Well, I just told you I am going through Bridgetown. So I don't want to stop traffic, you know. Traffic congestion in Bridgetown is tight enough already. But if they saw me, of course, everyone would stop and want to take pictures and jump out and put their arm around me so they can get in selfies. I'm just explaining to you what happens on a regular basis. So over the distance here, Pelican Village. Those that have been here years and years ago, remember little small shuttle homes. 
or shuttle shops all over here actually wooden shuttle shops that's changed a lot over the years um, a much better construction no much better facility but it's very modernized so it lost its uh, charm of the shuttle complex that it used to have uh, a lot of the businesses here have suffered a lot a lot of the actual shops here are closed some of them are reopening now um, but it went through a very very rough time pelican village was sorely overlooked everyone went to bridgetown but pelican itself has started to create its own environment I don't know if they have the Friday afternoon do flicky still, but it was an activity that they used to offer here because the hard cruise liners used to overnight here on Friday doing their air sea operation. So they put like a festive activity here, like a mini carnival, um, had the stilt walkers and all types of tuck bands and steel bands and stuff that used to come along here. Um, they used to close off this road here around six o'clock till about seven and you could actually participate in a miniature street fair. I'm not sure if that started back yet, but I know for sure that they will start that back because it was extremely popular with the cruise, cruise passengers and also locals as well. Talk a little bit more about the Pelicans we go up, but I would like to point out here the bar in the corner. This is known to have some of the best rum punches in Barbados. It's Raleigh's Bar. I did promise you that I will heal you up. Not that I've tasted rum punches, but my co-star told me there are some of the best rum punches she's ever tasted. So I will tell you, I will have to go with that for sure because I know if it's not good, she is not going to say so. So Raleigh, good morning. Thank you for allowing us to stay on beyond closing hours and sit there while Q was getting itself ready. Um, thank you again for your hospitality. Thank you again for you know allowing us your facility just to sit up and relax. So if you're in this area, you want some good rum punches or something, check out Raleigh's if you want anything else. We had fries and stuff there. You know me, yeah, cheap, cheap, cheap. When I carry somebody out on a date, I don't go to buy the whole set of stuff. I buy fries. When they carry me out, I look and I go to a place like Bozos, etc. I know that especially said for our head chair leader because she knows that's the correct pronunciation. Bozo's is the place that you will go and eat pizza with knife and forks. I've tried to tell her that already, but you know, you can only lead a horse to the water. You can't make it drink. So I can only try and educate her about how you eat pizza correctly. Uh, for everyone else that says eat it with your fingers. Come to my school of training. Nick will show you the correct etiquette. I know exactly how to do it. As I told you already, I'm professionally trained in everything, not only Olympic sports and activities, but also in culinary arts and also in um, craft and display of my talent. So I do it all the time. So if you'd like to come and join me, I will educate you and help you on how to eat pizza with a knife and a fork. Remember, if you're a Bajan, you want a pot of salt, you want some hot pepper, you can drop a few drops at every time you take a mouthful. So that's how we do it in Barbados anyhow, not the ones that don't know how to do it. It's a wash away area here. This is where you see really, this river was like in what they call Indian, not Indian River, but it was a river that used to run down here that used to separate Barbados from Pelican Island. Pelican Island is where the deep water harbor is now, that is, used to be where Pelican is. There's actually um, a little plaque on the inside and a picture of a pelican, well not a picture, a sculpture of a pelican on the inside to show you exactly where it is. And that's just through the harbor gates, beyond security. That's why I didn't show you, but that's where Pelican Island used to be just off of Barbados. And this is the river that used to separate or run through that area as well, right along the shoreline. So any of you that are way older than me, because <laughs> I was born in 1971, so on these things about Pelican and talking about hearsay, but there are some great shots up there. I know Williams Tour Company put up a shot the other day, area shot of what Pelican Village used to look like, or Pelican Island used to look like. Really, really interesting. Shame we had to lose it through progress, but I guess that's how it is. I think if we look back at it now, we'd probably look for a different facility um, for the water harbour and probably save the island. Well, I think that would be an amazing thing because sorry we weren't able to see that. The um, generations like myself are very young. We also have a wax, mu a wax museum here in Barbados. Um, it's in Norman Centre in Broad Street itself. We're not going that way this morning. So I thought it would give them a little bit of footage on it as well. I'm not too sure of their opening facilities. I think um, these signs here have been here for a little while, so I'm not too sure. Please check with that if you are interested. You know, just Google it, look up a telephone number, give a call. Directly opposite us here is the real entertainment area for Pelican. You'll see the tent um, in COVID time when uh, Q&A community was not permitted. And just when they started lifting the restrictions, um, a lot of people were looking for the Q-style event, which is like to step in and really classy kind of dance. And like I do, um, you know, I'm a professional at that as well. Don't think that, don't think that Dimitri is the only professional dancer. He may have his certifications in it, but I have his style and I have the grace and the respect. So, <laughs> good morning, my brother, Dwayne. Good to see you yesterday, or not yesterday, you, you ran away yesterday. Good to see you on Saturday. All right, so again, back to it again. When COVID started lifting restrictions, um, some people came together. Um, Drew, who owns this bar here, or Dre, who owns this bar here, he actually started a similar style to the community. That has continued. 
So although there's Q in the community on Thursday evenings, you can find music here. Very similar to Q, and a lot of the Q crowd as well will come here. Um, if Q is on an outer like country area and stuff, people will come here in the bus after and spend the evening here before they go on to their, their home or whatever. So you can come here and party as well. But this is where they do Flicky is held when it is held on the Friday afternoons, um, right over here by the actual um, bar itself. Lots of activities in Pelican. You can find there's a vegan shop in there that does vegan sauce. Um, they make that out of mushrooms, etc. Um, you can also find the cigar factory in here that does Cuban style cigars. Um, all types of, um, I say, industries that are located in here. Tons of souvenir shops, etc. So please have a visit. You know, look at that if you'd like. Come and walk on this beautiful little boardwalk here and watch the sunset. It is absolutely spectacular here in the evening, especially now that it's come around to the south because the sun will be setting in that general area now. So you will get a much better view in, in the wind and the summertime the sun will be behind these trees but that's how much the sun actually moves at this time of the year when this harbor was being built everyone was wondering what are those things over there the pylons etc the barricades and stuff you know no one understood that everybody understood the big hard coral stone rock that was dropped nobody really quite comprehended i say nobody as in the general layman the fishermen and any water um, water people would have known uh, that is the best structure to put up on the outside of the harbour, it will protect it because of the way those are designed, they actually interlock itself, interlock themselves and they don't roll. So very, very strong and sturdy outer um, protection for the harbour itself. This, it, well, this is the fishing harbour. This is the, or fish market. This is the, I, you know, although it's the biggest because it's Bridgetown, I still think Oystens have it over here. I, I, I prefer Oystens because of all the other activities that are immediately surrounding it. But this is a very popular spot to come and collect your fish from as well. Um, so if you are in this area, you want to get some fresh fish, this is one of your options. There are other options, like my sister was telling me yesterday, Crystal, that they went down to Pile, um, Pile Bay and got some fish and stuff there. They have a little fish market, I don't know if you remember our last vlog down there. But all around the island you can get fish, but this is just one of your options. Our buses and ZRs that cater to the northern and western parishes are located here. This is um, the lower, sec lower side of Bridgetown itself. So this is where you'll get all the, um, most of the buses are going to anywhere along the west coast or in that general area, you'll get that here on ZRs. And then the main bus terminal is Fairchild Street bus um, terminal, which is up on the other side of Bridgetown. We'll probably see that in the distance this morning, not sure how close we'll get to it. Our purpose this morning, besides of course showing the most handsome person in the world, um, is to show you what the cruise pass should experience. Uh, none of you will probably do this walk, but well, unless you're on a cruise ship, but it's something that I thought would be interesting for you to see how the island awakens and how different it is on this side of the island as people experience it. So you can see what they're experiencing as they come into Barbados. Remember, it's a city. It's not uh, an area that's isolated, that's beautified for the cruise passengers. It's a functioning city. It's the capital of Barbados. It's Bridgetown. So, you know, you're going to see a lot of what you would normally see in towns. You're not going to see things like you'll find in Jamaica where they have cruise ship terminals that have this massive layout by Royal Caribbean have put it on sponsored it massive where you can find every shop every type of facility within the barricades of the harbor you don't need to have that here Barbados is safe you come outside of the harbor I'm not saying anywhere else is not safe so please do not say that I said Jamaica is not safe I'm just telling you how they're structured so Barbados almost everything is out of the harbor gates itself so if you want any type of activity bar etc besides the ones that are inside and a little bit of duty free that's offered in there you can come into the heart of Bridgetown and experience the real true Barbados culture, which we're going to be experiencing going up here. Uncontrolled environment. So some people are conscious of cameras. If they're upset or anything like that, you know, I'm going to pacify everyone. I'm cool. I'm the charmer. So I will work on that. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about myself as we're walking, of course, because what would the history of Barbados be without me involved in it? So here we go. So yesterday, as you all take any visions, I'll give you a little bit of our recap from yesterday. Thank you to everyone that came out yesterday to the office, um, that came and assisted with work. It was a tough, tough environment yesterday, a lot of work to be done. But as we always say, someone's got to do it. And you know me, I'm the Beijing warrior and I shall rise to the occasion. So thanks to everyone else that helped me out yesterday as we were going through um, the afternoon with Mr. Impat, who played some super sessions yesterday. He started up his conga line. He had people run about the place. I was going to film it, but I was actually just sitting back in depression. But you don't mind, but my depression, it was short-lived. Uh, I just forgot about uh, the things that we do in the morning called serenade prayer. Uh, sorry, serenity prayer. And I had to sit down and say a few times just to calm myself down. But thank you to everyone who helped out. And uh, to those people that did not recognize me yesterday, 
um, that I had to wait until I talked to someone to say, oh, I know it's you because your voice. <laughs> Thank you so much for encouraging me to have more camera time because evidently the people that are on here do not recognize me. So today we'll put it off a little bit just to walk and we'll look at myself, of course. Yes, you know what it is. I have to be friendly and courteous. I'm a little bit of Queen's Wave and stuff. That can't die. That's obviously well known. But I have to show myself more so you all recognize me. So have a good close look at me. I'll give you a profile as well. That's me. So when you see me in the future, come and talk to me, please. Don't, don't just, um, don't wait until my voice comes out. Look at my necklace if you want. You don't recognize me. Have a look at this. There are different ways of seeing me. I've heard people say, oh, I didn't recognize you, saw your necklace. But the general rule of thumb is, is that they say, I recognize your voice. I cannot mistake your voice. I don't know why that would be because I really don't talk that much. Um, but anyhow, I've given you the opportunity to see me now. I'm going to turn around the camera. Although I really don't feel the motor, I'm going to turn around the camera now. Morning, how are y'all going? All right. No pass in the abattoir. This is where the butchering is done, etc., etc. You can also come and get your meats and stuff here from the outlet that's just in front of it. As you can see, there are all types of little shops and souvenir shops and fishermen's uh, quarters. Um, fisherman's Corner is located here as well. If you want some fish and tackle while you're on the island, this is probably one of the better places to come. There are quite a few places that would sell it, but that's one of the ones that will have majority of the stuff that you could possibly need or want as well. One of our beautiful electric buses. I'm going to walk off a little bit because this needs to be seen. I know you all are saying, man, we have electric buses, we have it, but imagine this, this is what Barbados standard is at now incredible at one time you uh, people used to stand up at a bus pole for three to four hours no transport this is not a joke some people leave in work at four o'clock or five o'clock we're not getting home until midnight that is also not a joke so you can imagine how they felt the next day when they were going to work however the bus system has been i would say revamped not only on the government side but the government has also given access to some of the bus drivers that worked with them for years to purchase permits you will see a lot of B buses that look like tour buses all around Hino's, etc. Um, you will see them up and down the coastline with the B plates on it. And that's because the government has opened up the market as well to a lot of the private entrepreneurs. And the actual bus system here is incredible now. I would have to say incredible, incredible to what it was. Always room for improvement, except for when you're talking about the Beijing warrior because he's perfect. Um, but everything else is room for improvement. If you come to Barbados and you want, hey, 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 and you want to um, get a little extension on your stay, Standard is three months um, stamp when you come into Barbados. That is the standard when you come through at the airport. Um, however, you can come here and just pay a nominal fee and get an extension for an additional three months. That's pretty straightforward. Um, it's not really a problem. So if you are here for a little period of time, you can also get the one year stamp if you would like to come here and work as well. If you're an online person, um, that has been offered to you as well. Uh, I know a lot of people that have come here originally for a year and then have stayed on like during year three now. So welcome to Barbados. Thank you for loving this island the way that we all love it and thank you for staying here and bringing some of your funds and saving them here in barbados and spending them around the locals and helping our economy as well so thank you this is our fisheries division main fisheries division we did pass the market just now i didn't show too much of that but don't worry about it we will see that another time it's a standard fishing market we'll talk about another time this originally was a multi-story car park it still does function partially like that However, because the immigration department on the bottom, it's not really in the, um, not really functioning the way it used to function. Here was all stores or planned for stores originally. Um, we have massive fets. I don't know if they're going to be going on still, but we normally have massive rooftop fets up there on the top level. Um, when I tell you big fets, I mean big fets partying galore. Uh, that goes on once in a while, especially around crop over time, you'll find that. With Christmas coming up and independence, this island is going to sort of like explode in all types of celebration and partying. Listen, a Barbadian just has to have a tin top drop, makes a noise, and it's a party. All the coolers will come out. Everyone is looking for a bar. We don't look for too much of an excuse. Anything at all will start a party in Barbados. As you would have seen, I am sure. So they're starting to get a little busy now. We're starting to wake up. This is a, a very, very busy road here. This is a, sort of like the road that you would use if you're going from the south to the west coast or vice versa. So it is a very heavy road. Come 7.30, this will be chalk a block with traffic. I haven't really seen any traffic that I used to see before, unless it's raining conditions since COVID came in. Um, but you will get traffic from here past Pelican Village quite often. 
um, in both, well, both lanes up to Pelican Village, then a single lane from there in this direction. And as you would know, you can get traffic from uh, the Garrison Savannah, the entire way down to Bridgetown, crawl in and creep in. Especially when it's raining. I don't know what is wrong with people in Barbados when it's raining. <laughs> when it rains in Barbados, people just do not like to drive. And if they drive, the ones that do want to drive um, are hustling because they've been kept back by so many people that they actually become dangerous. So driving in Barbados, surface very slippery. Um, if you are driving here, just be very, very careful, please. We have a lot of soil on the road, a lot of mud on the road that washes onto it. Um, you know, tractors uh, work in the fields with the sugarcane industry and stuff. You'll find mud in the corners. So when you're taking island driving, it has been raining, especially when it's been raining. Please exercise maximum caution because that mud doesn't ease you. It's like driving on, on black ice. So you can understand and appreciate how it is. You go into a corner, you find some mud and well, put, put, put your steering wheel in God's hands. That's all he can really say to you. Along here, if you want any passport pictures, tons of passport pictures. There's a pawn shop here as well. So if you, if you, hello. Oh yes, this is a perfect spot. Greetings and how are you all this morning? So you all can see me uh, again as well as I can show you. I'm greeting. Hello, hello, hello. And one minute. Hello, good morning. How are you going? All right. <laughs> a double dose of Nick. You all thought you had to walk with a camera? That was a joke. So you want passport pictures or you want to pawn off some stuff. All along here has those options, more than we'll see in a minute. But what I want to also show you is the Agape Chocolatier Factory. They produce some amazing vegan ice creams, along with other ice creams, but vegan and chocolate and vanilla, sort of like ready to die for. Absolutely delicious and rich. They also have vegan style chocolates, which are based on um, just on the cocoa, like 80% cocoa and stuff. So you'll read on the package that it may contain milk or peanut, and that is only because it's built, it's done in a factory. So as you all know, they all have their safety clauses, but you can get them as well at majority of the Massey stores. That's a gappy uh, chocolate. They have tours and stuff you can come and do, and they also have a big display and depot in the front section if you're interested in trying out their, their chocolate. I am actually eating chocolate now of every kind of an ice cream of every kind. That does not make a difference because I am now a vegetarian. <laughs> Making it much easier. I'm actually getting some invitations from friends now. Come on over, Nick. Before you say it, they say, Come on over, Nick. And when I got there, I would find uh, a leaf of lettuce and a couple of peas scattered on top of it. I say, Well, this is your lunch. Really? Seriously? That's not how vegans eat. Just to let you all know, for all the friends that called me out and gave me a shred of lettuce, you all know that I'm not happy about it. I'm still talking about you all like now. All right, if you're coming into the British Town now, this is, a, as you all would know, anybody who's been here before, but those that have not, this is where the road that was going in two directions now goes in one direction. You have to turn across here to go up the bottom of Broad Street. We're not, we're not going to walk you through. We're not going to walk you through Broad Street this morning. We've done that recently, and we will do that again in the future. Just want to give you a little walk through as the cruise past you would see it. We will have a look at Broad Street and, and the little sections or a little lanes are here between here and there as we are traveling you'll get a little glimpse of that as well but it is not a bridge down shopping day or bridge down strolling through shopping day um it is actually just around the outside of bridge i want to show you the actual route up to the beach so if any of you that are coming to barbados and did not know um that we offer this type of beauty even in a city this is not how it's going to look in another two hours time though please be aware of that there will be a lot of traffic in here a lot of noise not the kind of peace that we're we're experiencing because I'm not experiencing too much peace right now. It's busy. If you want to get your little treats and stuff here while your husband or boyfriend is up at the boatyard enjoying himself drinking um, or partying, you can come down here and enjoy yourself, get, you know, whatever you want, waxing, etc. etc. Well, I can't believe I actually end up talking about waxing today. And anyway, we're gonna cross the street. Don't worry about me. Ignore me. All these buildings are a majority of them are the original structure and style building. Um, Barbados is trying to maintain all of its large bonded areas or areas where they have the bonds and the warehouses um, they've put them into restaurants maintaining the same original structure which is absolutely beautiful so when you kind of bridge down you don't see a modern city you see a city as it used to be obviously you'll see some modern inputs but you will see majority of it looks like the old style that Barbados used to be years ago majority of pressure craft either use here I would say majority of them because although Port St. Charles them offer it I would say here are the shallow draft facility, which is you see known as the sand pit, which is down by the spring garden or the mighty grinder highway. Um, that's the only where you find a lot of the catamarans and stuff. And this area here is where you find majority of the pleasure craft though. Joy Roger not in here at the moment. Um, 
that I'm not sure if that's up for sale, has been sold or whatever, don't have any more information. The only reason I'm talking about it is this is where they were originally birthed at in this section here where the repairs are going on. So I'm not too sure if they're theming in there for something new. I'm really not sure that's pure speculation, but you know me, I like to speculate. I enjoy that. It makes life a lot more interesting. But this is beautiful. The reflections and the glows, absolutely stunning. And V Buccaneer is over there. Everybody knows that is a real serious party ship. And we have the Dream, Cat, uh, Dream Chaser just down below as well. That is also another party vessel on crop over time. That will be uh, leaning on a side when the party starts to rock on there for sure. Lots of fishing boats. Um, we have the cool running one and two, or I see two and three here, so I'm not sure where number one is, but I all know they have two of them, but I need one, two, and three. As you see, you guys already get ready. Morning, man, you good? Show that the world, buddy. Show that the world. All right, respect, man. Yeah, you have a good day, huh? All right, my brother, cool. So these guys will be up early. They usually leave around 9.30. They want the earlier catamarans to pull out. Um, so if you are on with them, just make sure and check in with them and make sure they're time. Uh, all of them have a different departure time, but generally we're between the 9.30 and 10 o'clock kind of frame. Over on the other side, you see LT Grey. There are tons of different ones. I can't really call all of them. But what I would like to show you from here is the screw dock. I mean, we'll see those spikes sticking up in the air just behind these cabin cruisers with the meshing around it. That is where the screw dock used to be. Um, they used to bring boats inside of here and then they would actually screw, had a screwing mechanism that used to lift the boats out of the water so they could conduct repairs on it. That's no longer functioning. Um, the poles are still there. I don't know if someone will hopefully one of these days re um, revamp that and bring it back again. I'm not too sure what they'll do, but it's definitely a beautiful historic area. Um, they had a little museum over there by, um, by the Blackwood facilities. However, I'm not sure if they're still open at the moment. Again, you can do some Googling and searches of what's going on in Bridgetown. And I see one of our family members got here that she's not wanting to speak to us, but I can make sure and speak to her. Good morning, do you have any? How are you? late. Can I check in the watch? But you can have thanks to tell your family this morning. Good morning, family. I awesome. hope you are well. Yeah. You're going to miss me? You're going to miss, miss you me today? badly. Yeah? Badly. All my good behavior and stuff? All of it. Well, well. I, I'm going to be paying her after, don't worry. She has a high fee, so it's $100 at least for this here. So, wow. It's great to see you, though. Great to see you, you too, Nate. You have a fantastic day as usual. Well, you have a fantastic service, right? day as well. All right, take care. See you later. Bye-bye. Okay. All right, for those who do not know, I worked with Ebony for many years. She was a part of my team when I was with Foster Nance. Um, hard, hard worker. And as you can hear, she tells the truth all the time. She says how oh, I was so well behaved and stuff. That would obviously be true. I was only kidding about the $100 payment. You know, we, we don't operate that way. She would do it for me for free because she knows that I'm a really a marvelous person. Everybody that knows the Beijing Warrior knows that I am amazing. Beautiful facilities again. Like I said, a lot of the places over here um, have tried to maintain the original structures, or at least they have maintained the original structures. Some have come and some have gone. There's Dry Dot Restaurant and Barry Donner, if that's still open. This does still carry the name, so it possibly could be. And then along here is where you get a lot of the, as I said, charter fishing boats and also um, some of the catamarans and some of the sailing boats will be from here. Uh, later on in the year, well, I think probably, well, they'll have a big fishing tournament that's going to be coming up here um, in the near future. Usually this whole area has all the vessels from the Caribbean that come down here. It's a big thing. And then we'll also have the Mount Gay sailing regatta that will go around Barbados as well. That's also be coming up fairly soon. So keep an eye out if you're a water lover. Um, you know, check out what we're offering in that line. And also, if you would like to experience what it's like to be cool, there are some people that will take you on. So if you are an avid sailor and stuff, you know, maybe get in contact with the Barbados Yacht Club or the Barbados Cruising Club and see if they can give you some inside information on that. If you are interested in participating as a crew member, um, you know, there are some people that do offer that for sure. But that's the Mount Gay Regatta, and that usually is very, very heavily attended as well. All of the Barbados flags going up inside here. Uh, remember, you're going to be celebrating Independence Day. Sorry for the amplification. I just had a little projection issue there on the 30th of this month. Looking forward to that for sure to celebrate. It will also be our first year uh, It's being a republic as well. Want to mention that too. Stay politically correct. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, a walk along here is just really, really uh, lifting for me. Um, you know, I remember when I was a little boy and I used to come down here, I used to have a lot of shrimp trawlers and schooners that used to come in right here on the roadside and offload on the roadside itself. I remember that very well. I remember when Charlie Jones, which was our, I would say one of our most recognized jockeys, he started, he had a big fishing fleet and stuff down here as well. So that used to go on, but things have modernized and have changed a lot. Uh, I know that when we, um, when this was actually being laid, this boardwalk section and this part of the road was closed off, Bridgetown was gridlocked until it was finished. It was, it was really, really bad. This is a heavily, heavily used road. So when you take this out of the circulation, 
you know, it really puts a lot of pressure on the other roads and the infrastructure on the island. But it's now completely done. All they really have to do on occasions, yeah, brother. All they really have to do on occasions now is just replace the wood, on, and they do that quite often. Uh, if you are coming in Bridgetown under rainy conditions such as this, please be aware this boardwalk is deadly slippery. So for any of you that have um, challenges with walking and stuff, if you are walking this boardwalk here and it is wet, please be extremely careful, hold on the ropes or hold on the railing, but be careful because even if you have only best of shoes, there are some areas that, that remain, the water remains and has a little bit of slipperiness on it. I have on some really good traction shoes and this morning when I first hit here, I was getting some skids. So just be careful when you're walking on here when it's wet. Also, don't look up at everything around you. I'll give you your first, don't worry, I'll give you your circle of love, but don't walk around looking at this kind of beauty here and ignore it in front of you because as you will see, some of the woods are a little higher than others. So we like to let you know about everything. That may seem so trivial. Uh, people may say, well, Nicholas, we always look in the ground. We know when woods are up and stuff, but trust me, when you enjoy this beauty out here and you're taking this in, you sometimes forget to look down. And there are some woods that are definitely higher than the other one. You know, we, if we, if we always say, we're not going to take you and show you beauty and not let you know about the little things that may affect you. You know, so that's what we're going to do now. This is the second stiletto boat that's in. This is stiletto, I don't know if it's one or two, I'm not too sure which one this is, but as you all know, stiletto bay, which is known as the Discovery Bay over on the west coast of the island. This is one of the brothers' boats, or two brothers that operate them, Peter and Graham. They also have their nicknames. I know your driver's on here this morning, so she can call the nicknames because she says them so flavorfully. <laughs> Good morning to you, driver. We are not going to talk too much about Bridgetown this morning, and it's not that I cannot remember, because I do remember, but we're going to like, try and keep it a little bit lighter, just take you on the actual path itself. Uh, what I would like you to see, of course, is the clock tower. I did get a nice little photo of that, but if you want to capture that right now, I'll give you your 20 seconds that you can capture that. See, hopefully with no traffic, well, limited traffic. So here we go. I had to go a couple of seconds over it. I have a real picky time keep her on here. If I'm one second short, she will just crush me. So I had to give you an extra second there just to make sure that she can't tell me the nonsense this morning because her stopwatch may be working today. Usually it doesn't work at all. She's so cheap, she won't put a battery back in it. So that's what happens. But don't mind that, we can leave her alone. All right, so we can do our first official, mm, you got on the bridge. Still not quite the right view that I want to take in the 360. I'm gonna go stand in the middle of this road here as no one drives down this here and only a few bicycles come through but once again maybe we could do a little photo something here enjoy this little beautiful scenery of bridgetown it is stunning lots and lots of photo opportunities this is one of them Timekeeper, you must be crying then. You must be crying this morning. Click, click, he's right. Click, click, he's right. You continue though, ain't a problem. But the day that you are not expecting it, I can cut it short just to see how you gas for air at that time. Got a couple of little sprinkles, not too worried. Um, this is the lift bridge, used to be the swing bridge. This is actually where originally in years gone by, I know people are going to remember this now, the Jolly Roger used to have birth right here. This is where people used to board and get, get on and off the Jolly Roger. And on an afternoon when they came back, mainly in the afternoon when they came back from their, their sailing, etc., you get a whole set of young Bajans used to climb up on the bridge here and dive off and pull all kind of spectacular dives and stuff for money. So people used to throw money in and they used to dive behind it. So any of you that saw that in the years gone by will remember that. There are some pictures still floating around, but that memory is very, very strong in my mind. Absolutely beautiful. As you can see, we're, we're decorating up for our independence. It is an amazing time of year. Um, you know, we celebrate this for sure, as you would know, it's a, a extremely, Beatrice are extremely passionate about our Independence Day. I'm just going to pull my hat and stuff now, so bear with me a minute, as I get myself prepared a little bit for these showers that are coming. Don't want to stop the vlog, so you're going to have to take it in anyhow, and I want to do our 360 and stuff, so just bear with me a minute. And like most people that I know, I can actually multitask, so... <laughs> <laughs> that's a personal joke which I'm sure I'm going to regret by the end of the day anyhow a lot of people on here do not know the multitask I've just shown you a, a perfect example of how one can do that 
I actually was doing three things at one time there. I was balancing the gimbal, I was undoing the umbrella, and I was then uploading it, and I was also walking a little bit. So here we go. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This morning, the sunrise here, I, I sent a message to my eyes from the east. I hope that he was able to capture it this morning. I'm not sure he did send a message back, but voice message, which I can't hear when he had the microphone in, so I couldn't hear. So Mark, this morning, I couldn't hear you, brother. I will check it when I get home, though. All right, so get ready. First circle of love. We're going to do it right on the actual bridge itself. Here we go. absolutely beautiful i remember um years as well ago a lot of you would remember it when you used to be able to park out here um in this section uh this used to be all a big official car park at one time one of the most popular car parks because it was right on the outskirts of town you actually didn't have to go into town traffic to find a park however that's been now gone of course beautiful 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 all right in front of us just to give you a little something because i don't want to talk too much about anything but it's the independence arch and this is actually constructed um, in 1987 and this was to commemorate our 21st anniversary you'll see a few of this stuff on it in a minute a few historical things as well i will show you that in a couple of seconds rain has stopped so you know what's going to happen here now our sky water force field has to go back down because they don't like walking about this here unless necessary so bear with me a couple of minutes well do is i'll let you look in this direction here at uh, traffic check my check my perfect planning and, and strategic location for you have a look at this for a minute and i'll be back with you here we go Where is Nick? Where is Nick? We want Nick. We want Nick. All right, I see all the meshes going up. Just relax. I'm coming back to you. I won't leave you for too long. Don't get too lonely. I am here. I'm not going to leave you alone for sure. Beautiful, beautiful morning. As you can see, it is definitely getting busier now. When we came out, when we came out this morning, there was absolutely no one up here walking around. Remember years ago, at City Waterfront Cafe, which is like a, a jazz cafe that's located just over here on the side. This is where really the waterfront used to be. That is no longer existing. So walk it used to run that for many, many years. So those of you that remember the jazz days out here, not existing. There are other bars and restaurants around here, but the waterfront cafe has closed for sure. Likewise, um, all this area, the pier head area, is soon going to be. Well, their proposed plans. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but their proposed plans to have some hotels built in town, not only Jesse Hyatt, but other hotels as well, and a marina. Now I don't know if that's still online, however. Um, it is definitely was online and been very seriously talked about now This is the national pledge which I bear on his side on my right hand side of my rib cage Absolutely beautiful lovely lovely pledge and then we have here El Walton Barrow the right honorable I, th I know anyone that wants to look up that please have a look up that was an amazing man that helped to make this island what it is for sure. He's one of the founders of what we are now, I would have to say. And this, as I said before, is the Independence Arch. Cavens Lane, you see really popular, the warehouse restaurant, uh, sorry, warehouse nightclub. And numerous other ones in here, the art party animals, do your thing. Talk to the people about what used to go on here, the warehouse, etc. And then there was one there in the orange, orange building, I cannot remember what that was called, so you all can refresh my memory. Uh, not, not critical information, if I would have it in my mind for sure. But this is where partying used to go on like crazy. This entire cabin's then used to turn into chaos on a Friday night, a Saturday night. That happens once in a blue moment, not like it used to be before for sure. This, Ma this place here that was a Massey at one time where Marlene Wilkinson and Chandler originally, the cost of Mannings, whichever you want to call it through all the names. This is actually closed. So, go on again. Things have happened. There's going to be a lot of progress going on this island. Um, I'm not too sure exactly what's happening with your pair head. Um, plans of renovations and marina etc 
um, I guess that's going to come up. You know, a lot of things are said and then they're changed and stuff, but um, that is one that seems to be pretty serious, just at Hyatt, which is supposed to start this year. That was delayed for a long period of time because of legal situations, etc. But they're supposed to be starting that up. Not too sure if that's going to be 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 stories, I don't know. I've heard so many different um, numbers being called when it comes to the height that that building will be. It is not um, a very popular thing for some of the people here in the island. Um, however, it's, uh, I guess it's progress. Uh, serenity prayer, please. You know me already, if you go over tree height, well, I don't feel happy anyhow. And it's just because of my way. I am stuck in my ways. So, Nicole, just to let you know, which is our Miss Care. I have on my hat, not your hat. This is my hat, which I've been able to get, get back from you on two occasions after literally having to threaten you with singing for you, which uh, you gave me quickly as soon as I said, I'm going to sing for you if you don't give me back. So thank you for giving back my hat, but I have on my independence hat. Easily obtainable, very difficult in the usual times of year, but if you're down here at this time, you can get them at I. Martin Hastings, Judy Free Barbados, quite a few of them. There are some nicer hats, better embroidery, and also sturdier hats than you will find in majority of places, especially with the prints and stuff. Now it's not going to look like this because of course it's on the most handsome person in the world. But you can look at me and put it on and believe that you look just like me. So that's quite easy to do. Very simple. Just let me know when you're doing it. Tell me thumbs up Nick. Give me a look at it and I will do this to you. Just perfect. And <laughs> what you see very very popular here as well was Pirates Inn. Sorry Pirates Cove. Pirates Cove was an on-beach facility that was here for many, many years. Most of you would know about this area because when you came down here, it was always action, action, action. Um, that closed a few years back um, with COVID. Um, the owners and stuff have dissolved um, the merchant or the value of their company. Um, Jolly Roger is a part of that. So that's, pro that's probably why it's out of operation right now. But I'm not sure if that will be taken over or what, as I said before. But all this area is parking facility. If you want to park, go into Bridgetown. If you want to go over the bridge into the actual center areas where there's a city center car park and stuff, you can park out here. Lots and lots of parking. As you can see, there's a monkey run across here. So monkeys are everywhere in Barbados. Here it comes over. Check it out, the baby. Look, peeping, 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 and looking. So I guess, I guess it's, um, <laughs> as you will see, monkeys are all over the island. That's a little baby underneath as well. Not just in the country areas, anywhere in the city itself. And we have monkeys here. Uh, all over the place as well, uh, as you would see anywhere, especially like chickens. Chickens, chickens, chickens everywhere. You know, they had to wait until I went to veganism or to vegetarianism now to come and walk around me and have chickens all over the place because years gone by, I had to pull up my rotisserie and, and got rid of a few of them for them for sure. <laughs> Cruel, yes I am. All right, so we're making our way down years ago. Tucker used to sell all the Honda cars, was located here as well as um, Ram Merchandani owned a very large warehouse as well here um, and that has all gone now because this is where the development of the Hyatt is going to be. Um, nothing has really happened recently but they are talking again about it um, starting back up as you can appreciate COVID and stuff not everyone for sick so all the kind of plans and stuff are off. What you see also located here was actually it was located here with the Freitas ice cream uh, if you remember that best soft serve ice cream in the island. I remember going to church every Sunday because I had an uncle who used to bring me for ice cream after. I, 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 all of a sudden I started to think that was sort of like a little bit of a bribe to get me to church. It used to work immaculately, I can tell you. I mean, every Sunday I was ready to go to church for sure because I knew there was going to be soft serve after, especially the chocolate and vanilla swirl. So this is where the facility used to be for Pirates Cove. Um, this entire section here, a lot of little beach bars have actually opened up along here, the very end of this beach itself. There's a little beach bar that's open up there. I, I don't know the name off hand. I can't remember it. Um, I haven't been on there too often. And I'm, I know it's reopened, but I'm not sure what their opening days are, etc. So this morning, although I have all my 4x4s, we're going to be stripping down and we're going to be going in the sea with you because it's a beautiful morning. And I haven't finished teasing you all yet. So we did say land and sea. And in order to have a land and sea, we have to obviously offer the sea part as well, which we're going to do in a minute. Well, there's, I'll put you on the back of the war wagon. I'll let you take in this beauty, or in the general area in here, I'll let you take in this beauty. Actually, you can take in that rainbow if you can see it. Hopefully, you'll be able to see it. And I will just get myself together, and we'll take a little quick trip to the sea. I don't want to stop uh, broadcasting, because I really don't want to stop talking. I haven't really done enough talking for the day yet. I want to make sure everybody recognizes me when I pass them, and I say, hello. Just give me a couple of secs. You gotta call this something new. This is not the norm. I don't usually stop like this here and take a intermittent break like this, but let's call this the new land and sea. 
for today. So give me a couple of seconds. do this then all right I'm not feeling great again shirt is off so you know back in heaven now as you can see I am definitely missing my co-star because my co-star would have taken the gimbal from me and gone talking to you all <laughs> one day <laughs> but she would have shown you around the place and she would have kept you entertained so as soon as she comes back well you will have continuous entertainment even when I take my little pit stop you can see no shirt I'm in heaven. I'm going to show you the beach. Oh. I, I, I know you want to see the beach. I know you really want to see me, but you're split between two decisions. Do you want to see the sun and Carol Bay, or do you want to see Nick Cole? Well, I mean, let me hear the vote. One for Nick, two for Nick, three for Nick, three. The whole committee has voted for Nick, so we're going to stay here for a couple more seconds and talk to you all so you all can actually recognize me next time you all see me anywhere and don't just have to hear my voice. All right, as you all know, we're democratic. We went to the boat, that's how we always do it. All right, this long jetty here is the boat yard jetty. I know many of you know that already, so but I'm telling you ones that do not know that. Um, before that was built, they had two other jetties. Well, two that I remember. There was one that was an actual fuel jetty for fishing boats. Uh, the fishing boats would have actually had to come on to where the sand is now. That is where the jetty used to be with the fuel depot. There was no sand here at all when you say that. I would say maybe 20 or 30 feet from the actual. Um, where you would find a when bar at high tide you wouldn't even find a beach out here all out here was actually water but the fishermen say it's because of the deep water harbor um, that all of the building up of the sand in this area and also the sand on down at brandon's which is down on the spring yard mighty grinder highway is, is all um, because of the original um, lane of the deep water harbor but it's taken a long time but as you can see massive beach there was no beach here at all when it was in i'm not going to tell you the date but i'm going to tell you when it was in my late teens and I worked you say when bar down here um, there was no beach so as you would know that would have to be in the 80s late 80s because I was born in 1971 if you all think my calculator doesn't work you all making sport try that on someone else a few little showers of blessings light sprinkles coming down here don't have on my hat don't have the umbrella so it's not a problem because we will do this until it gets heavy and then we will shut down and I will quickly run the shelter but I have to tease you all water down here transparent same kind of conditions as you get on the west coast where we are right now picks up the south swell a little bit because it relaxes around from the hilton but further up in the bay itself you really don't get south swell unless it's very very big um and here gets impacted by the west swell though if you're having a big west coast and north swell you will get in here impacted quite a bit from that it comes right around the harbor area rainbow is stunning it hasn't got its full vibrance yet but as you can see it is a beautiful rainbow this morning we're not getting quite the full yes we are we're getting the full thing now so is that not just beautiful so those of you who want to see a little bit of rain a lot of beauty and an absolute stunning rainbow in barbados this morning you have had that opportunity to do so all right we are getting a little bit heavier sprinkles so i just um get myself prepared um thank you for everyone for joining us this morning you want to do something a little different whenever it's rain we tend to add in a little bit more of the land because you know, I can't really do a beach all the time with the rain and stuff, especially when it's gusting and things. So it gets a little bit difficult. So we thought we'd throw in a little bit of land in case we had to hop, skip and jump underneath buildings or underneath overhead areas where we could shelter. Um, but as you've seen, it has, it has really worked for us. It's a very light sprinkle here. It's really beautiful this morning. It's cooling. Um, I feel the rays of the sun on me. The water temperature is lovely. Uh, I would say a little bit cooler than it has been in summer. Uh, not much, but you can definitely notice the difference in the change of the, the climate around us like on a night and stuff it seems to get a little bit cooler we are experiencing what we used to call typical november weather which is rain 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 not all day but scattered showers all the time october november this year are looking like the traditional beijing october november which is a good thing to see because our water supplies need to be replenished obviously if not you can't drink pure water in barbados any tap this is one of the, one of the few places in the world that you can put on the tap and safely drink water from it so that doesn't happen too many places so we pride ourselves on that 
is obviously goes through our coral stone and limestone filtration and stuff and that's so how we managed to get from the underwater lake such purity which we obviously put in chlorine and stuff on occasions depending on how high our loa is in the reservoir but right now i would think the reservoirs are pretty high so that's the end of my talk about that what i'm gonna do is show you another i don't want to start and end in the sun because that's really blinding so i'm gonna start maybe over here at the rainbow i'm gonna end at the rainbow if it's still there when we come back we're going to do a circle of love now this will be our last circle of love for today so enjoy this enjoy the silence um, enjoy the break from me i'll be back with you in a couple of seconds All right, folks, for all those country western people out there, I have a song for you. So get ready. If you want earplugs, put them in. If you want to read the closed caption, I'll make sure it's, in, uh, you know, it's put up on YouTube later on today. But it goes like this. Oh, God, it's hard to be humble when you're perfect in every way. I can't wait to look in the mirror because I get better looking each day. To know me is to love me because I must be a hell of a man. Oh, Lord, it's hard to be humble. I'm doing the best that I can. Can. Jeez. <laughs> well, 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 did you all think you all be graced with that this morning? There you go. I just saw a trace something a little different. Um, <laughs> I noticed the numbers have gone up though, so everyone must be calling their friends saying, Nick is singing, Nick is singing, because I just saw it like, go through the roof just now with those numbers. Great. And now they're going down, now I've stopped. All right, I will sing to you all another time. That was obviously a vote of approval. Anyway, you all have a great day. Thank you for joining myself and all the rest of the EMC family. This is what we do every time we broadcast, it's four days a week. Uh, if you're not a friend of ours, please send a friend request to me at Facebook so I can send you a map of Barbados, our own specially designed map and a little welcoming package that will get you up and running as quick as possible. Um, if you have been on here all along, I thank you again for being with us and for making this what it is because it's because of each individual EMC member that we are what we are. We are a group of people that come together, strive for peace and happiness and love and kindness and care and everything that's positive and we spread it amongst each other every day. So I hope you all will have a fantastic day. I bid you peace and love from Barbados. Um, I hope you will come and join us here in Barbados. Remember this Saturday is a docile Saturday again. If you'd like to walk with us, please send me an IM. If you're on the island, remember, if you're not on the island, don't play your sending me and tell me you want to know where we are because you're on the island because our investigative team known as the Gittins Investigation Services they will check you out. That's our billionaire. He has lots of money. He'll make sure you're on the island. He's, he's guaranteed to give me the security that I need to know who is here and who is not here. If you want to know where you're staying and you get lost, please call me. I will call him and he will say where you were last pinged because his, his intelligence services are that high tech. So he will know where you are. So if you get lost in Barbados, call me. I'll give you directions to get you home even if I don't know where you were originally. You know, goodbye to each and every one of you all from Barbados again. Oh, he wants to stay with me. I don't blame it. <laughs> from Barbados again we bid you farewell and send our love to you all have a great day spread your peace and love and your happiness that you've experienced today with everyone around you a lot of people don't know what today is bringing a lot of people are not to eat today if you see them or you see anyone you're passing just give a smile smile can save a life have a great day everyone love you all